Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's pick a card reading, we are doing the universe has a message for you. So you can choose to look at this as the universe, your higher self, your spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels, uh, spirit animals that you might be feel or connected to, passed on loved ones, however you wish to think about this reading today. But we are doing the universe has a message for you. Um, the universe is constantly in communication with us through signs, through symbols, through synchronicities, through the dreams that we have, messages that we might even receive during daydreaming. Um, sometimes these messages might come through other people that are in our life, complete strangers or, you know, seeing a billboard or a license plate, a bumper sticker, um, all the ways in which um, things just kind of happen and the universe brings messages to us and sometimes we might, you know, notice them or take note of them, but we don't always know what the universe is trying to say to us. Okay, what may be things that we're missing or that we're misinterpreting um, in some way. So we're going to see whatever message the universe has for you. There are three different decks for you to choose from today. If you feel drawn to more than one, that is perfectly okay for today's reading. You might have messages across the piles, um, different decks. Only take what resonates for you. Uh, do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages that come through are going to be specifically for you. Please make sure that you are being discerning, um, especially with a general pick a card reading. If it fits, take the message. If it doesn't really make sense, sometimes things make sense later on. Um, I noticed that too. Um, even with private readings, you might have messages that come through and you're like, mm, I don't know if that resonates, but then a couple days later, a week later, ah, that's, that's, there it is, you know? So just kind of, you know, use discernment. Um, if something does not feel right, okay, for you, then of course don't take the message. But, you know, if it does and you notice that you, you, it makes sense later on down the road, then you can always come back to this video to see you know, to get a little bit more information about what was coming through that maybe you didn't understand at that time. Sometimes the universe will lead us to certain piles and it may be a message that our higher self has been trying to get through to us and it may not necessarily make sense to us at that time or it could even be that we're not ready to hear it, okay? <laughs> we're just not ready to hear it, okay? So those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Many of you have come over from my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess, um, and I thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services. So let's get into the reading. A universe, the universe has a message for you. Pile number one, this is going to be your deck here. This is the Enchanted for Hoxa Tarot, and that is going to be with this orange calcite. All the crystals today are in their raw form. Okay, so we have a raw orange calcite, and that is the back of your deck, the Enchanted for Hoxa Tarot. That is for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be the Guardian of the Night Tarot. And that is with this rose quartz. Okay, for pile number two. Pile number three, you are going to be this clear quartz. And that is with the Grimalkin's Curious Cats Tarot. So clear quartz and Grimalkin's Curious Cats Tarot. The universe has a message for you. We're going to see what that message is. Timestamps will be down below for you guys. Pile one, two, and three. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time, and I will see you there. Hi, Pile one. So those of you that resonated with the Enchanted for Hoxa Tarot and the Orange Calcite. Uh, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out uh, what your message is from the universe. I was getting a message that was coming through that is super, super specific. I know it's not going to be for everyone. 
Um, but I, I do feel like I want to just kind of see what's coming through with the tarot to see if it has any relation to it. But I do feel like it is re involving a specific uh, love interest for some of you that has... I mean, this could be an ex-partner. This could have been someone that you had a breakup with. Um, it may even be somebody that has passed away. Okay? Maybe even someone that's passed away. So let's pull some tarot. And of course, like I said, that's a very specific message. It may have nothing to do with the other messages that are here. But it is a specific message for someone. So let's just kind of... See what's coming through here. The universe has a message for you. Pile number one. What is that message? What message does the universe have for you? Pile number one. What universe does the message have for you? We've got the... Okay, yeah. So that kind of makes sense. Okay. Universe. Um, <laughs> universe. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is when we are going through a period of maybe some challenges in life. And we kind of feel that we're going through a little bit of a bad time. Um, we can kind of feel like our life is spinning out of control we can feel like we're dealing with things, maybe karmic cycles, that we might be having a hard time getting ourselves out of, okay? The message that was coming through, like I said, this is super specific. It sounded like a spirit was kind of describing a situation where a person was very upset with the universe, okay? <laughs> very upset with the universe, and I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of like, you know how like when we get upset with certain things that are kind of like not going right, they're not going according to our plan, or we kind of anticipate things are going to kind of turn out very differently, right? And then when things don't turn out that way, or there is some kind of unforeseen circumstances that do take place in our life, and the universe kind of throws a curveball, you know, and, and things are just not going in the way that we expected them to. And sometimes that is really something that causes pain or distress in our life. And so the message that was kind of coming through was almost like somebody was upset with the universe saying, why did you take them from me? Why did you take them from me? And the universe's message being to you, for some of you, this is about protecting you. Okay. Very much protecting you. So this could have even been, especially for those of you that may have been in a relationship it could have been a friendship it could have been a romantic partner is kind of more or less what I'm feeling specifically um of course too yes it can be maybe even some losing someone um that has passed but I feel more or less this is for those of you that have gone through like a bad breakup and you're just kind of questioning like why why was this person taken from me why were they why are they you know, why am, I, why am I in this situation right now? And I feel like the message for you in that case is for your protection, okay? Even though that might be something that we don't really understand at the time while we're going through it. And it can be very challenging for us to kind of say, okay, my life feels like it's completely flipped upside down. I'm going through this. My whole life is falling apart. Why is this happening? Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune energy in reverse, and like I said, that's a very specific message. If it has nothing to do with you, then just let that go. It's a message for someone, but that was coming through, so I wanted to talk about that. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, like I said, when it's in reverse, this is when we're dealing with sometimes bad karma or things are kind of playing out in our life where we feel like we're kind of stuck in this cycle and things are just kind of one thing after the other. Okay, but the important thing to remember with the Wheel of Fortune is that this is the ebb and flow of life, okay? The cycles of life, the ups and the downs. And with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this is talking about more or less when we're going through a little bit of those more challenging times. But the important thing for us to remember is that these times do not last, right? We have both the ups and the down, and it's really about how well we are able to ride the storm, I'll say, and make it through 
knowing with confidence that these cycles that we go through are only temporary. Okay, so for those of you that have been kind of feeling, why is everything kind of flipped upside down right now? Why is everything seem like it's falling apart? Okay, this is spirit trying to let you know that it's only temporary, right? This is more or less us learning how to go with the flow, you know, in a way that even though there could be some challenging things that we're going through, we have to trust and know that things are kind of happening for our highest good, whatever they are, even if that we don't really quite understand why, you know, certain things are happening. Okay, so let's get a little bit more, but we do have a Leo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus coming through with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, let's see what else. What is the universe's message for you? This can also be when we are trying to force things, okay? When we're trying to kind of take things sometimes into our own hands. And this might take place like if the universe has tried to remove, let's just say, a person or uh, a job, you know, from you. Or to try to shake things up to, to help you to change, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is also about change. It's also about being at a turning point in our life where maybe there are changes that are needed, Okay, so maybe some of you are going through the cycle of change or kind of needing to make some kind of a shift. Like I said, for some of you, this can mean that when you are trying to, let's just say trying to hold on to something, right? Let's just say it's a toxic friendship and the universe has showed you time after time after time, let go of this friend, let go of this person let you know what I'm saying and it's kind of like we keep ourselves in that situation holding on to it and so we keep ourselves stuck in that cycle of feeling disappointed or whatever other thing that we're kind of going through there so let's see what is the universe's message for you pile number one we have the ace of swords wait look at that we've got the four of pentacles Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is also when we are clinging onto something. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is about possession. It's about control. Okay, this to me, when I see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's kind of like we are trying to micromanage the universe. We're trying to force something to happen. Um, we're trying to take sometimes things into our own hand. And the Wheel of Fortune is about divine timing. Okay. It's about divine timing. It's about fate. It's about destiny. It's also about karma. And so there's a need for us to trust that things are being woven in the way that is specifically meant for us, what we are destined for, what we are meant to, to go through or to overcome or to change different things like that within our life. So like I said, if we're using the example of holding on to a certain friendship, right, we're gripping on here to the, with the four of pentacles, afraid to release, afraid to let go, we can keep ourselves stuck in that cycle. Okay. And this is kind of like when we are, like I said, trying to take things sometimes into our own hands, even though the universe has shown us let go, so we can help you to shift in this direction right? This is a need for you, for some of you, maybe even to release control in a certain aspect, right? Trust the way that things are kind of unfolding for you. Now, I do see the Ace of Swords energy here. So the Ace of Swords can be some type of clarity, some type of truth, some type of epiphany or realization that you could be having. Some of you, this could be trying to push you out of your comfort zone, Okay, you could have kept yourself stuck, some of you in a cycle where you were feeling cozy and comfortable right where you're at. And this is the universe trying to gently give you a little bit of a nudge here or a shove, however you want to look at that, um, to get out of that, right? To, to not be afraid of taking a risk, to not be afraid of, you know, um, stepping outside of that comfort zone. Okay. So some of you that could be a very specific message about the universe trying to help you to change, help you to shift, help you to align with your destiny. Okay. And that includes people, places uh, that you live or places that you work, friendships that you have in your life, romantic partners, whatever it might be. What message does the universe have for you? Pile number one. 
We have the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. What message does the universe have for you? Some of you, this has to do with work. Okay, your career. We have the chariot. Look at that. Okay. Chariot is about having the willpower to move forward. Okay. It's an energy of freedom. It's it's um, us making progress, right? So this to me is kind of stagnant. So I feel like with the four of wands energy here, this is spirit kind of wanting you to trust that... You are going to be stable, okay? Especially if you feel like making some type of a job change or career change and you're fearing scarcity, lack, especially when it comes to abundance. This could be spirit trying to help you to shift into even more abundance, but it requires us to be able to take a risk to step outside of that comfort zone. I'm also noticing the, the symbolism here in this card there's a bunch of fairies that are here and they're watching this other fairy here kind of being born out of this, or she's gone through a transformation. This is like a little cocoon here. Okay. So she's coming out of here. She's emerging out this beautiful little fairy butterfly, however you want to look at her. Um, so there's a lot of transformation. I feel like that's taking place for you, right? You're changing. It's time for change. Maybe that's what spirit's message is for you here. It's time for change. It's time to move ahead, okay, with clear, focused intention, direction. Um, let's see what else here. What is the universe's message for you, pile number? You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of like with the four of pentacles, you could feel, okay, I'm stable here. I've got good money. I feel I'm in a stable job right now, or I'm, I feel, you know, I'm in this relationship. You know, whatever it may be that you're in right now, but I almost feel like spirit's trying to help you to change, to shift, to grow, to evolve, to transform. Um, I feel like this is more or less about movement, to make some kind of movement here. Um, maybe there has been some types of delays or setbacks here. Stagnancy is kind of the energy that I'm getting. This can also be complacency. Okay. We've got the three of cups. Some of you, spirit is encouraging you to connect with others. Connect with others. It looks like there are certain opportunities that are surrounding you, pile number one, that you may be distracted by something else in your life, something else, someone else. Um... There can be opportunities that are surrounding you. Some of you, like I said, it is about connecting with others, socializing with others, going out with others, connecting with new people, new friends. The Three of Cups is about joy. It's about happiness, um, feeling more fulfilled. Um, look at how also these little fairies here are kind of supporting this one here as she's kind of emerging out of this little cocoon. Okay, they're there, they're there to catch her. And I almost feel like spirits kind of in giving you this message to let you know it's okay to it's okay to change. It's okay to grow. It's okay to evolve and become a better version of self. I do feel like with the four of cups energy here, some of you could be feeling bored, okay, at a job or uh with your career or even in a relationship. Okay. Um, the Four of Cups energy here is also about a feeling of indifference, uh, boredom, uh, blind spot, missed opportunities. I'm also noticing that she's looking at herself in the mirror here. She's looking, or not in the mirror. She's looking at her reflection in the water. Okay. And I'm feeling that for some of you, there is this longing or this desire for something more. Wanting something more. And it's kind of like spirits like, okay, here it is. Here's what you wanted. Here it is. But it's kind of like you might not be noticing it. You might not necessarily be seeing it. And especially for those of you where there is a need for you to connect and socialize, maybe get out more, travel more, explore more. Um, I'm seeing for some of you, there's a need for exploring your passions. Okay. And allowing that to be something that helps to lead you. 
Um, some of you could be feeling confused about something. I'm seeing the Two of Swords with the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords is about feeling more confident. It's about moving ahead with confidence, taking action and feeling confident in doing so. The Two of Swords energy can be when we have conflicting thoughts or ideas about something. We feel confused. We feel stuck. We're indecisive. We're stagnant. Okay, so I am feeling that this is about uh, some type of choice here. We have the Ten of Wands and also the Tower. So if this to me is kind of like spirit trying to help you, like I said, to change, to shift, to release something, to let something go. Some of you, this Ten of Wands energy could be uh, kind of doing too much, needing to take a rest, needing to let go of some things or some people um, that could be weighing you down energetically. Okay. The tower energy is asking you, what can you release? And look at that. We've got the fool underneath the deck. The fool is about taking a leap of faith, exploring, releasing fears, uh, doubts, and just kind of going for it. Taking a leap of faith into exploring new potentials, new, pot new possibilities, following your heart, following your intuition. I do want to get a little bit more on that wheel of fortune in reverse. And I feel like maybe the four of pentacles so let's clarify you know and if you're kind of stuck in this cycle of indecision or stagnancy complacency the four of cups can also be when we're feeling sorry for ourselves like oh i wish I, this could happen i wish i could do this i wish i could have that you know, but it's like, okay, spirit's like, here, here you are, <laughs> here you are, pile one, let's do this. And, you know, we could be kind of keeping ourselves stuck in the same cycle. So, okay, why is this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? We also have, what do we have here? We have Libra, we have Capricorn, Aries. We have Virgo, we have Cancer, lots of Cancer energy. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Look at this, the Death card in reverse. There is some type of resistance here to change. To me, this is kind of like you're not going with the flow. Maybe there's a need for change here and you're not rolling with it. Okay. The death card is about endings, it's about change, it's about transformation. With this in reverse, this means that there is something we that we are not letting go of, something that we are resisting to change. Hmm, okay. Maybe some of you are afraid of it. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse? Scorpio energy. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles is there. This is about a new beginning. So something needs to change. And of course, this is a general reading. So it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, it could be the job that you're at. Some of you, it could be the place that you live. Some of you, it could be a, a career. It could be a relationship. It could be your friendships. Okay. Something that may not quite be in alignment for you, but I'm feeling like maybe there's some setbacks or delays that you've even had. And maybe it's because there's a decision here and you're just like, I don't know. I don't know which, which is the right choice. I'm too afraid to, to make the choice. I'm worried about stability here. And it's almost like the universe is saying, we will catch you. Don't worry, right? With that full energy. So yeah, I'm seeing that there's, you know, in order for there to be a new beginning, there has to be something as an end here, something that we're letting go of, something that's changing. And so I'm seeing this as a resistance of change with this new opportunity that's here, right? This is the opportunity that spirit is trying to bring in for you here. Some of you could be about love. Some of you could be about a new job, new house, new friend. Hmm. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse? Look at that. Two of Swords. This is why there's indecision here. There's a need for you to listen to your intuition, Pile 1. Your intuition is trying to guide you. 
but you could be, I mean, you could have blockages, you know, within your intuition and you're just like, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know what spirit's trying to say. I'm confused. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this direction, that direction. What is spirit trying to say to me? So this is trying to urge you, I feel like, towards this new beginning, towards making the decision. To me, that Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is kind of like you not going with the flow, right? We're doing the opposite of that. Spirit is saying shift, change, and we're like, no, (laughs) I'm not ready. Or I don't know, which, what are you talking about? Four of Cups again at the bottom. Why is the, um, so this could be like a blind spot. Maybe you don't know what spirit, you know, spirit's saying change, shift, grow, evolve. And you're like, into what? (laughs) Into what? Where? What are you talking about? What is the four of pentacles here? What do you mean? What is this nine of pentacles? Nine of pentacles in the bottom. What else? Four of pentacles. The lovers. (sighs) Some of you, this is about a relationship. Could be a marriage. Are you settling? And those of you, when I'm asking you that, and I'm saying that right now, those of you know deep down inside your heart whether or not that's you. Okay? You know if it's you. Because you feel it. You know it. It's making the alarms go off. You know I'm talking to you. You know spirit's talking to you about this. Okay, so that won't be for all of you, but then some of you the guess. This is about a relationship. It's about another person, a romantic partner. <sighs> okay, this is another message here. Some of you, and this is nothing against you <laughs> that do this, okay? But some of you spend a lot of time with your partner, and you don't really have a social life okay you are glued at the hip with your partner and there's nothing wrong about your lovey-dovey sweet beautiful connection however (laughs) this is spirit say you need to branch out more you need friends you need you need like-minded individuals okay some of you might have you know very creative energy here and it may be the person that you're with you might love them and they love you but there's a need for you to kind of do more for you right and maybe your partner might not be into that sort of thing or you might like to like let's just use the example of you being a super spiritual person and very focused on you know your spiritual stuff whatever that might entail and your partner not so much right Maybe there's a need for you to kind of connect with the social group where you can have some type of an outlet to connect with people who are like you, right? The Nine of Pentacles energy in reverse for some of you, hmm. Some of you, I feel like this is also about finances, okay? There might be a need for you to really work towards saving more, saving money, creating more financial stability. Some of you, your spirit is trying to get your attention about your financial decisions or choices that you're making right now. Some of you might be overspending. Okay, very specific message. Some of you might be overspending here. And if you're really trying to get to a place of financial independence and security, we need to get the spending under control. Okay, for others of you, I'm seeing that sometimes spending so much time alone, working and working and working, You have no time for you. You have no time for fun. You have no time for socializing. You have no time for letting loose. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing a message here about some of you needing to really follow your heart. Okay. The lover's energy, if you see in this card, there is a beautiful angel here that is guiding this union here and some of you this union is talking about you with another person it can also be a union with inside of yourself your masculine and your feminine energies all right let's pull one more what is this four of pentacles energy and i might i think i'm going to do the four of cups too because it's come out like what three times already Six of Pentacles. 
I'm almost feeling for some of you there's a need for you to take an, uh, an assessment about whether or not you're receiving what you're putting out, okay? And this could be with a job. It could be with a relationship. Apply that to however you feel. It could be a friendship. It could be a family situation, okay? Are you giving too much? Why is this Four of Cups here? Six of Swords. Some of you, there's something that you are meant to let go of, move away from. Let go of, move on from. Okay, With it, no matter what it is, be different for all of you. Maybe some of you are feeling conflicted about doing that. And I feel like Spirit's really wanting you to really focus here. Like, let's just say it's a job and you're just like, I don't know, should I leave the job? Do I want to take that risk? And Spirit's like, yes, <laughs> do it. It's time for change. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with, I'm seeing Gemini energy here, uh, Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn is here too. We've also got Leo energy and Aquarius. Nine of Swords is at the bottom. That's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stressing, a lot of overthinking something. Some of you are overthinking something. Okay. I feel like this cycle maybe of indecision here is, is kind of stagnating. It's like Spirit saying, make a choice. <laughs> make a decision. Let's go. We've got everything aligned for you, don't you see? Why is the Ace of Swords here? The universe doesn't respond, and I just saw this too, the universe does not respond to um, kind of like when we're unsure, uncertainty, okay? The universe doesn't respond to that. We have to have clear, focused intention of what we are manifesting, okay? What is this Ace of Swords here? Knight of Wands. I almost feel like this is some type of divine idea that Spirit is trying to give you as a download here to motivate you, to inspire you with this Knight of Wands energy here. Inspiring you to take action. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Whatever that action means for you. With some of you, it is with new love. It is with a new passion that you have, something that you are passionate about, right? That could be a leaving a job that you're bored of. Some of you could be in a, in a toxic environment or have a toxic friendship, toxic relationship, or just something that you feel does not resonate for you any longer, okay? It could be a relationship that where a person where you really love them, but you're just like, okay, we're not compatible anymore. Okay, whatever that means for you. And like I said, some of you where you're just like, okay, what does this mean? What does this apply to? Those of you where, where you know this is a relationship, like I said, you know if I'm talking to you or not because you feel it and you know it inside. Okay, some of you it's a friendship. Some of you it's a job. And you're just like, I don't even really want to do this anymore. <laughs> what else am I going to do? And Spirit's like, pursue your passion. What are you passionate about? Make the choice, make the decision, take that first step, right? The Knight of Pentacles is about baby steps. It's about having a goal, a focus, and taking little steps, little by little, to get towards that larger goal that we have. Whether it is, I want a beautiful union with the love of my life. I want to connect with my soulmate. I want to be at my dream job. I want to, you know have a, an amazing group of friends. Okay, so what are we doing about it, right? What is the first step? We have to let certain things go that do not align with us anymore in order for us to kind of be open to receive what is, okay? Page of Wands is at the bottom. I love that, okay? We've got the Four of Cups again, and look. Again, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Here's your opportunity and spirits like go be like the page of ones and go explore, discover, have fun, feel excited, pursue your passion, uh, travel, adventure, very Sagittarius energy. Okay. 
So instead of keeping ourselves closed off, right, which is basically what both of these body languages are showing here, closed off to opportunity, closed off to change, closed off to new love, closed off to new job opportunities. And Spirit's like, how about this one? How about this one? Does she like this one? Does he like that one? Do they like this one? Did they see this one? How about that? You know, so it's kind of like I'm trying to help you <laughs> again. We've got the eight of pentacles here and the five of swords with the wheel of fortune again. Change, pile one. <laughs> that is your universe's message to you. It's time for change. The five of swords energy is self-sabotaging thoughts, right? You're feeling that little feeling inside of yourself that spirit's like, oh, maybe I should change. Maybe this is this divine inspiration that's coming in. Spirit's like, you really like this. This is your passion. You should try this. You should do this. And you're just like, well, I don't know. Because then that means I'm going to have to start school all over again. Or that means I'm going to have to start all over again to love. Or I'm going to have to file for a divorce. Or I'm going to have to go through a breakup. Or I'm going to have to try to make friends all over again. I don't even know how to socialize. I'm an introvert. I don't know how to do this. It's all of that negative thoughts. Whatever your situation is, it's all those things that are that inner self-talk tells us you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You're not going to be successful. You're going to fail. You're going to this. You're going to that. And that's what leads us to being afraid of that change, right? To embark on this new beginning. The Page of Wands energy is about us tapping into that infinite, infinite childlike creative inspired energy within us, right? The page of wands has no fear. Neither does that knight of wands. It's just go. This is my passion. I want it. I dream it. I can make it and I can manifest it. We can spend all day dreaming about it, thinking about it. Oh, it'd be nice to have that. You can have it is what spirit's saying. All you need to do is make the decision. Right? Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, one foot in front of the other. That's my goal. Every single day, I'm going to work closer and closer to whatever that is. The important thing is that you move. You take action, right? You move, you get in that chariot and you go. Okay, so let's see. It's time for change. Wheel of Fortune is here twice. Pile one, what is the universe's message for you? We have tea reading here and it says, don't surround yourself with drama and gossip. No secret is safe. So some of you might be, have specific people around you that are not such great energy and you might know that. Okay. We also have the witch and it says, don't fear the unknown. Trust in your magical powers to bend reality. And I'm seeing that as you changing, changing your your path, your future, um, taking control. We have the skull here and it says real transformation requires real honesty to move forward in life. Let's see what else. The key. You have the key to open the gates of happiness and abundance. What message does the universe have for you? We've got the pendulum here and it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Take the risk. Okay. Your message is pretty clear, pal one. Okay. <laughs> the universe, there's a, there's a creative genius in you waiting to be unleashed. Some of you, like I said, are super creative and there's a need for you to pursue that knowing that you're being supportive. We have the feather. And it says, expect an abundance of good things to begin to flow in your life. Should you allow yourself to receive, right? Instead of closing yourself off. And then we have the grimoire here. And it says, stay in your power and express yourself. Don't hide your magic, right? Don't dim your light for anyone. Romantic partners, friends, family members, shine. Let yourself shine. Let yourself grow. Let yourself evolve. Okay, just because there are certain people around you that want to stay exactly where they're at and they don't have any motivation or they don't have any, you know, desire to grow as a person or to evolve on their path or whatever it is that they're choosing to do doesn't mean that that has to affect 
what you're doing for you. You continue to grow. You continue to shine and step into your truest potential. What other people choose to do around you is up to them. You're not in control of or even responsible, right, for other people. Okay, last card we have is visualization. And it says when you visualize, you can materialize, make it happen. Okay, <laughs> make it happen, pal one. So I'm going to leave it here for you. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pal two. So those of you that resonated with the Guardian of the Night Tarot and this little Rose Quartz, this is going to be a reading. So we're finding out today about your message that the universe has for you. Okay, so let's see what it is. Pile number two, what is the universe's message for you? Pile number two, what is the universe's message? Remember that this is a general reading, so feel free to apply this message to however it resonates best to whatever your situation is. If it does not resonate at all, I would suggest choosing a different pile. So we have the Knight of Wands <clears throat> is the first card out. Knight of Wands. We also have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Let's see if I can get one more up here. What is the universe's message for you? Pile number two. We have the Ace of Cups and also the Page of Wands. Okay. What is the universe's message for you, pile number two? We do have Aries. Look at that Capricorn energy with the devil. We have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, and Sag, Sag energy here. What message does the universe have for you? The Six of Pentacles. And judgment. Okay. I'm seeing the two of wands at the bottom. So the two of wands energy is about being at a crossroads. It's about also making a choice. Choosing a path. Choosing a direction here. <sighs> okay. I do want to clarify because I'm seeing the nine of wands energy here. The Nine of Wands is when we are putting out a lot of energy, a lot of focus towards something. And with the Devil energy being here, there is something almost restrictive about this energy. I don't know if it maybe for some of you this is a person that you've been putting out a lot of your energy towards. And you may feel that you're not receiving what you need from that. Okay. And this could be a message for you to be discerning about your love situation. Okay. Some of you, I feel more specifically, this is about a particular love interest that may not necessarily, this is very specific. Okay. So it may not be for all of you. I feel like this is regarding a specific love interest that you have been putting out a lot of energy towards. And that could be mentally, emotionally. And I feel like this person could be someone who is emotionally manipulating you. There is illusion surrounding this person, okay? Um, they may be someone who is kind of creating the illusion of commitment or that there's going to be something solid with this person. I feel like Spirit's message to you is to be discerning. Spirit may be encouraging you to move on from this person, to make the choice here, to really take some time to evaluate what you are investing your time and energy into. Is it really getting you to this Ten of Cups energy? 
okay, with this person. Um, and I feel like with the high priestess, your intuition already knows. I feel like it has been trying to warn you about a specific person that you've been putting a lot of your energy towards. And I do feel like there is karmic energy surrounding this person. They could be a karmic partner. They could have been a karmic lesson for you. And there could be a need for you to free yourself from holding on to that person, to that situation. Um, there's a need for you to really kind of take away from this connection. What have you learned? What has this taught you? I am seeing with the Queen of Swords energy here, there's a need for you to be very clear about things. Um, as far as looking at the truth of a situation, the devil is a, like kind of like this energy of an illusion. Okay. The devil energy can be very captivating. It could be a person who is being emotionally manipulative, sometimes a little bit abusive. Um, the devil energy can talk about temptation, about deception, lies, betrayal, cheating, third party situations. Um, those of you that are in 30 par third party situations where you're involved with somebody and you are, you know, even, it could even be like a situationship, a friends with benefits, a situationship. And you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to keep holding on to this person and see if it turns into a relationship because I, I feel like there's a connection here. And spirit could be telling you, no, there's not. Not to say that there's not a connection there, but this person could be creating this illusion that there will be something more. So spirit's asking you here, you're putting forth so much of your time and your energy towards this person. This person may have been meant as a lesson for you to be able to separate truth from illusion. Okay. I feel like in that case, spirit is really asking you here to work, try to work towards seeing the truth about this person, about what their intentions really are, okay? For you to be very discerning as the Queen of Swords, I feel like Spirit is, and if you are in that situation, is trying to help you to see, to release or to let go of this person, to be able to move on from them so that you can really pursue new love, new opportunities and love. But of course, it's your choice. You have to make the choice here. Really be honest with yourself and take some time to really evaluate or reassess whether it's worth it for you to continue to invest your time and energy into it. Are you getting this 10 of cups? Do you feel the happiest you've ever been in this situation? Do you honestly feel like it's leading you to this place? And if not, this is, I feel like where spirit is encouraging you to kind of take the wool off your eyes, right? And really see things clearly as that queen of swords. Okay, for others of you, I feel like this has nothing to do with the love. I feel like this is more or less about you taking a look at what your own limitations are in terms of your doubts, in terms of your fears, in terms of your insecurities that are limiting you from being able to pursue certain things in life, making decisions, taking action, exploring, discovering, pursuing a passion that you have, um, there is a need for you to kind of open yourself up to receiving. And in order for us to do that, sometimes it requires us to take action or to take that first step so that spirit can help to align us with what matches with that energy, that vibration is that we're showing this is my intention. This is what I'm working towards. And if it is something that's in an alignment for us, for our highest good, the universe will then reciprocate that energy that we've put out by bringing us opportunities. Okay, so same thing happens with love situations. If we are holding on to someone that is not serving us, if we are holding on to a job that is not in alignment for us, we can feel like, you know what, I'm stuck here. This is my limit. I can't make any more money. Or we let our fears and insecurities hold us back and we say, okay, I'm stuck here, I guess. I guess I'm going to have to make this much money for the rest of my life. Or I guess I have to go through this whole love situation feeling unfulfilled. Or I have to be stuck in this job. So it could even be a mindset that it's kind of holding you back here. Okay, so with judgment here, judgment, if you look at this little snake here, the snake has shed its skin and has come out this beautiful glowing. Uh, the judgment card is about renewal. It's about transformation, about rebirth, about letting go, shedding old skin, kind of uncovering this new version of self. And for some of you, this can be working on healing through any types of fears or insecurities or self-limited beliefs that you might have within yourself that are blocking you from being able to make progress along your journey. Some of you, it's like spirits trying to help you to get motivated 
for taking action, making decisions, coming up with a vision or a plan and recognizing what limitations are there. What fears are they? Are they valid, right? The devil energy is all about illusion and the ego does that to us, right? An unhealthy ego can do that. The ego serves to protect us, to keep us safe, to, you know, but sometimes we have to be like, no, I'm listening to my intuition right now. My intuition is saying, do this. I'm going to go for it. Okay. So I'm going to, and I'm, as I'm saying that I'm seeing the fool at the bottom, which is about taking the leap of faith into the unknown, new beginnings. Let's see. What is this nine of wands energy here? Why is the nine of wands here? The king of wands. Some of you may have been putting out a lot of energy towards maybe a fire sign. Um, getting a lot of fire energy here. The tower. There's a need for releasing. Okay. Some of you, it is a person. Some of you, this person is someone who only cares about themselves, only cares about their own desires, their own needs. They may not necessarily be thinking about you with the, I don't want to say with the best intentions. I want to say that there, there's, there's more selfish energy here. Um, okay. And of course the universe, spirit guides, ancestors can see things that we do not see. Sometimes spirit could be urging us to let someone go and to, you know, go in a different direction. And sometimes we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to, we want to hold on to what we have because we might be emotionally invested into someone and we might see, you know, oh, I see the potential. There's so much potential here. You know, we want to hold on to that person. But again, spirit is kind of seeing something that we do not see. And sometimes that can be uncomfortable when spirit tries to force us to change or to let go and sometimes may allow that person to hurt us over and over again until we finally get it, until we finally say, okay, I see it. Or it can end up in a tower moment where things end in a not so great way, where the universe forces us to change, forces us to let go. Okay, the tower energy happens by divine intervention. The tower moments always happen for our highest good. Even though when we are in the middle of them, it may not seem like it. We might be like, why is the universe doing this to me right now? Why is this happening? Right? All the red flags were there. We, we just may have ignored them. Okay, so some of you, I feel like this is specifically a love interest. There is a very strong fire sign energy here. You could be the fire sign. The other person could be... Um, if they're not a fire sign, it's a person who is embodying these kind of energies. The Knight of Wands energy, King of Wands, these can sometimes be a little bit more of an egotistical type of energy or even a little bit of a narcissistic type of energy. A person who really cares about themselves. Okay, a little bit of manipulation here with the devil energy, a person who lies, a person who is deceiving in some way. Okay, and again, with that Queen of Swords energy, this is Spirit saying, be that Queen of Swords. See through the lies. Through, see through the deception. Some of you, like I said, this is about Spirit trying to help to guide you towards pursuing some type of new beginning or an opportunity. So in this case, with that Nine of Wands energy, let's just say you're at a job and you're working and working and working and trying and busting your butt to try to make more money or to you know, have something more. And this is where spirit is asking you here, evaluate, is it worth it for you to continue to work as hard as you've been working at this job or at this career with not feeling that you're feeling satisfied with the amount of abundance that maybe that you have or the opportunities that you have, right? So we can decide that instead of putting out all that energy to make the amount of money that we're making, is it possible for us to then make a decision here to let go of something? Okay. Is it worth it for us to maybe change jobs, change directions? Okay. The Ace of Wands comes in. The Tower energy in the Ace of Wands is kind of like some type of divine inspiration, an epiphany, a realization. And to help you, to let you know that you can be that King of Wands. The King of Wands is very motivated, much like the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Very motivated, very passionate, very creative. The King of Wands is extremely powerful energy, especially for us. 
when we're trying to manifest something or trying to pursue something, the King of Wands is about you paving your own path. Okay, so some of you, this could be the universe trying to give you a message here to try to divinely inspire you to. I feel like inspire you to do something new. I'm seeing new beginnings here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so like I said, maybe this is kind of looking at the fears that you have, the limitations that you have. Is it your own unhealthy, say, part of your ego that is telling you, no, don't do it. You're not going to be good at it. You know, all that negative uh, talk here, your inner voice. Why is the devil here? The five of pentacles. Some of you, this can be insecurities. The five of pentacles, it may be some of you, it's a fear of lack that is holding you back from pursuing a dream or a goal. Scarcity mindset, five of pentacles. Okay. Nine of wands, again. Yeah, some of you are putting forth a lot of energy towards someone who may have ghosted you, who may be uh not valuing you not seeing your worth you could be taking less than you deserve accepting breadcrumbs okay and like I, I said again this is spirit telling you here really take some time to evaluate do i keep investing here am i is this my ten of cups and i have a feeling your intuition is saying no it's not okay Especially for those of you that are in that situation. So again, like I said, some of you, this person, again, look at who's at the bottom. Queen of Swords. Um, why is the Judgment card here? Nine of Cups. There's something that you're needing to release here, pile number. Mm, I guess we're going to take both of them. I didn't mean to take this one, but I guess Spirit wants me to. Um, some of you are needing to release uh, someone in order to pursue or in order for spirit to deliver to you what your wish fulfillment is okay hmm king of cups some of you this could be dealing with a water sign scorpio energy some of you your own negative thoughts are kind of holding you back here from your wishes from your dreams okay so there is a need to really take a look at that how am I holding myself back? Okay. So let's now pull some Oracle and see what else, what other messages does spirit have for you? The universe has a message, pal, too. Something is brewing and about to beginning, about to begin. Trust, believe, and be open. You need to be open to receive it. Something's being manifested here. Something's coming to fruition here for you. Some of you, it is new love. Some of you, it is uh, divine inspiration, okay? And um, it could be something, an idea that has potential. And you're just like, wow, why didn't I think about this before? Why didn't I see this before? And then you're kind of embodying that energy of the uh, nine of wands here. I'm sorry, not, uh, king of wands, universe has a message for pile number two what is it we've got you are not alone your spirit guides are guiding the way you are not alone we have music here and it says let music help you rise above your struggles and set your soul free maybe some of you music is something that is my i feel like music is very healing anyway it could be something that really empowers you something that really motivates you um, you could use music in many different ways. Okay. I like to use it for shadow work, um, <laughs> because it helps me to release emotions. Like I'll, I'll listen to like old music from stuff that's sad <laughs> to kind of put me in that sad mood so I could journal or I could, you know, just kind of, um, kind of get stuff out, you know, so you can music and use music in so many different ways, but you can definitely put on music that really kind of pumps you up and makes you feel very positive. Um, you know, kind of reinforcing strength. I mean, <laughs> you could be like listening to Beyonce, you're listening to Shakira or, 
um, yeah, Re- uh, what's her name? Rihanna, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. We have mortar and pestle and it says what you give energy to is what will manifest. Choose wisely. Okay. So if we're focusing on negative thoughts, negative thinking, pessimistic thinking, lack mentality, I am without love. I'm separate from love. I don't have money. I don't have this. I don't have that. That is what you receive. More lack. More disappointment. Right? Because we don't like, nobody likes this energy. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. Okay? And sometimes those negative thoughts, fears, insecurities, doubts bring more of that. Okay? What is the universe's message? We have fire. Look at that. All that fire energy. We have south, the direction south. Maybe some of you are thinking about moving south, or maybe this is spirit telling you you should move south for some of you, especially if you've been feeling that. This is confirming that for you. We have fire, fiery energy surrounds you and will put passion back into your life, and we're definitely seeing that here. Spirit trying to spark you up, motivate you, inspire you. We have go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Take the risk. Let's see what else. We have the crystal ball and it says things are not always as they appear to be. Keep an open mind. Okay, keep an open mind. And this may be especially for those of you where hmm, sometimes you feel like, okay, here's an opportunity here. And you're like, mm, well, it's not exactly what I asked for. So I think I'm going to pass. Okay, so again, be discerning here. Take your time to really see something clearly before you just say, nope. Okay. Because that could be something that's helping to lead you into a certain direction of where you're meant to be. But it could be maybe a stepping stone along the way. We could look at it that way. But always use your discernment. Always, you know, tap into what your intuition is saying. We also have the runes here. And it says, you will meet your destiny on your path to enlightenment. Bottom of the deck, we have the ritual bath, and it says spend some time alone, regroup, and listen to your inner wisdom. So maybe for some of you, this is all about you also doing some self-care, clearing your energy, okay? Taking a salt bath can also be something that really is really helpful for you to clear your energy, okay? So that is all that I have for you. Pile number two, I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 3. So those of you that resonated with the Clear Quartz Crystal and the Grimalkins Curious Cats Tarot, this is going to be your reading today. And I just noticed that the creator of, the, of all three decks today is the same. It's MJ Colonnane. MJ Colonnane. She created all the decks that I'm using for our piles today. Okay, so pile number three, the universe has a message for you. We're going to see what it is. Mm, I'm feeling there's a lot of anxiety in this pile. Maybe this is being worried about something, or maybe you just have anxiety. I know some of you might have anxiety disorders. Hmm. I feel your pain, because I do too. Okay, pile number three. What is the universe's message? We have the three of cups. What is the universe's message for pile number three? Universe's message for pile number three. The Queen of Wands. We've got Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is the universe's message? The Seven of Wands. What 
is the universe's message for pile number three. Two of Swords. Hmm. feel like there's something that you're not seeing here pile three something you're overlooking and it's right in front of your face <laughs> literally right in front of your face what message the eight of cups What message does the universe have for you? Get the two of wands. I almost feel like every single pile, which makes sense, you know, we're asking what's the universe's message for us. And I feel like most of us do receive messages. Well, many of us, all of us receive messages from spirit all the time. And we don't see them. But we have the Two of Wands energy here, and every pile got the same kind of energy here about a decision that needs to be made, a choice. And you have both, the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands here. Hmm. What is the universe's message for you? Pile number three. The Four of Wands. Ace of Cups. Some of you, there's a choice or a decision here surrounding a living arrangement. Your home environment, a living arrangement. Hmm. I'm seeing the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. Page of Pentacles. I do want to clarify a little bit here. Now we do have what? Leo. Uh, Libra, Cancer, Aries, and Pisces. There's something here with this Eight of Cups energy pile three. The Eight of Cups is about letting something go. Walking away from something, detaching from something or someone. This is a card of emotional abandonment. It's also about setting out on a journey of self-discovery. Letting go of things that no longer bring us emotional fulfillment. I'm also feeling for some of you maybe needing to set some boundaries with someone. There's almost kind of like this energy of like, I'm trying to get away from this person or this person has been trying to get away from me, avoiding me for some of you. Mm, let's see what this is about. Does this feel like such a specific message here for some of you? This isn't going to be for everybody, but this might only be for one of you, okay? What I'm kind of seeing here, some of you, there has been some type of offer here. 
and I don't know why, why, but this, I don't know. <laughs> I don't shoot the messenger. Okay. It's just, this message is coming through here. Okay. For someone out there, I don't know who this is for, but for someone out there, there has been some type of offer that has been presented to you. And I feel like this could be a proposal, okay, for marriage. And although this proposal is something that has brought about a lot of joy, a lot of happiness... I do feel like spirit is wanting you or the universe is wanting you to really take some time to think about it, okay? To kind of go over it in your mind. Because although that offer can be something that brings about a lot of excitement, a lot of happiness and joy, I feel like there is something here about a need for you to take a little bit more time to really think about it. Okay. Um, and I don't know who that's for, but it's almost like spirit saying, don't get married just yet. Okay. Don't get married. Take your time. And I don't know if this means kind of a long engagement or... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but this is what Spirit's saying here, okay? And that, that's not for all of you. Might, like I said, it might only be for one of you. Maybe this means you have a long engagement before you get married and just kind of say, okay, let's... Because I almost feel like for some of you, it's, it's Spirit not wanting you to lose yourself in this situation, this connection with this person. For you to really make sure this is really what you want. Don't get married just to get married because... This is somebody who's proposed and you're like, oh, yes, I'm going to say yes. Take your time. Okay. And maybe that means you feel each other out a little bit more. You make sure, triple sure, double sure, triple sure that this is really, really the right person for you. Okay. So very specific message. All right. Now let's see for the rest of you. What's going on here? Why is this eight of cups here? Why is this Eight of Cups here? Oh boy. <laughs> the Eight of Cups is here again. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yes. You see? Mm-hmm. I almost feel like Spirit's saying, and this may even be about a reconciliation for some of you, okay? Think twice before you reconcile. Okay? Think twice because a person might be coming towards you and say, oh, let's get back together. Let's reconcile with each other. There's a need for you to set boundaries here with this person, okay? So again, the same message is here. This may have even been a person that you may have already previously walked away from or who has previously walked away from you. Some of you, this is a third party situation. And if this person is coming back in, trying to apologize, trying to say, okay, things are going to be different this time, things are going to be better... I, I'm feeling there is a need for discernment here, okay? Mm, some of you, this is with a Scorpio. With a Scorpio. There could be a choice for reconciliation. This person could be trying to reconcile with you. So again, there's a need for discernment here. Take your time to really listen to what you're into. And your intuition might be like, yes, yes, I want to. I love it. Let's do it. But I feel like Spirit is saying, really take some time, uh, okay, to think about this. 
Uh, why is the Seven of Wands here? The Lovers. Some of you, this is with another person. This is romantic. Hmm. We've also got masculine fire sign and well, both the queen and the king of wands are here. Hmm. Yeah, some of you, this is not new love. This For some of you, this is somebody from your past. Somebody you may have already been in a relationship with. And I know sometimes you guys don't like hearing this stuff. <laughs> You're like, we don't want to hear about exes. I don't want to hear about anything having to do with exes. Then this might not be your pile, okay? This feels like a very specific message here of somebody who's trying to make maybe amends. Hmm. I definitely feel like there's a very strong connection between you and this person. Okay. Some of you, this does feel like divine counterpart energy. Now, why, why is there, um, why is there kind of a stress here about this, about thinking twice? Some of you, I get that this was a person that may have walked away from you. Maybe they needed to kind of take some time to think for themselves. And maybe that separation or that distance is kind of... Like they needed that space, okay? Maybe to miss you or to realize what they had. And <laughs> maybe this is the situation. Maybe it's kind of like you're gone. They didn't step up and... And take action. It's kind of like now not having you. Now they're like they realize what they lost. So if this person. Like I'm saying. If this person is someone who kind of turns right back around. Takes a leap of faith. And says oh let's get back together. Let's reconcile. Don't agree immediately. I feel like is what spirits say. <laughs> like don't. You know it's not that you're trying to hurt their, the other person's feelings. And that you're you know you're not wanting to hear what they have to say. And agree to it even though you might really want to. I just feel like. Take your time. Okay it's kind of I feel like the message here. And be really sure you know that this is what you want. Or that you feel like the circumstances. That are present in whatever your situation is with this person. Are going to work for you. Okay, do your lives align with each other? You guys might be really attracted to each other and have a super fiery, amazing, passionate, steamy, spicy connection with each other, <laughs> but are you compatible? Okay, do you want the same things? Do you have the same goals, right? So even though that bright shiny ring that they're trying to bring you or you know getting back together might seem amazing and you might be like heck yes I want to be with you I want to I want to reconcile with you but again this is where spirit I feel like saying it's it's a positive time it's something that's you know a joy it, it brings happiness it's an exciting time an exciting event but you also take some time to just pause and reflect about things take your time okay especially if it's a person and you're dealing with like a whole third party situation and the person still hasn't left their person yet and they're trying to come right back into you and you're just like they're back <laughs> they're back you know it's like keep your head about you keep your wits about you have boundaries if you need to set them with this person right some of you, it could be telling this person, hey, straight out, I don't want to be your option. I don't want to be the person on the side. You're either going to choose me and be with me because you want to be with me. You want to build a life with me. You want to stay with me. You know, whatever your situation is, but there is a need for you to have some very strong, firm boundaries. Like I said, I'm kind of getting this energy of spirit not wanting you to lose yourself. 
to this person, to this situation, regardless of what the label is of your connection. It's kind of like stay empowered, stay strong, stay focused on what your goals are and what you're doing in your life. You know, don't let this person distract you from that. Okay, even if they come in with a with an apology and oh, I messed up, I screwed up. Okay, let me take some time to think about it. Let me see if this works for me, right? Keep them on their toes. Um, okay, let's see. Why is the two of wands here? Some of you, I'm getting a message here about a person who is so, so head over heels in love with you. And this person has been so resistant to giving into the connection that the connection is something that is so intense between you and this person that I feel like it scared him a little bit okay some of you I feel like there's a person who has been complacent and who did may not have taken you seriously may have undervalued you you may have walked away from them they may have been walking walked away from you um and some of you you might have a person who's coming in right back in to bring you some type of offer some type of proposal some type of opportunity some type of reconciliation and again this is where spirit is saying use your best judgment okay because even though it might seem like oh my gosh this is amazing news I want to be with this person. It's kind of like spirits like ground yourself, <laughs> ground yourself, prepare yourself, be still continue to hold your strength and your power. Do not give your power away because some of you may have really been working really hard on yourself. You may have done a lot of healing. You may have done so much work that you've invested into yourself. And then you have this person come right back in and it might be the old same song and dance. Okay, so continue to not allow anyone to disrupt you from your growth, right? You don't want someone who kind of take you backwards after you've tried so hard to move forward and be the best version of yourself. And this person comes back in and maybe they're not ready. They're not prepared for you. They're not, you know, not in a way to like with commitment and stuff like that. But I mean, energetically speaking, you know. Are they on your level? Okay. All right. Why is the two of wands here? So this is about love. <laughs> this is about love. I didn't think we were going to have something like this, but we're doing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like some of you may have already been through a lot with this person. There may This person may have also hurt you a lot. You know, or you could be dealing with a person who is really hurt and very wounded. Maybe not even from you. They could have been from other connections. But I do feel like there is an appreciation. There is recognition that's here. And so... This person could be showing you, uh, you know, just out of nowhere, showing you a whole bunch of attention. But again, this is spirit saying, like, kind of be weary here. Like, take your time. Okay. It's, it's kind of like making sure that the person's intentions are what they really are. Again, boundaries here. Okay. Um, why is the two of swords here? Knight of Swords, yeah. It's like spirits like take a pause before you just rush into something. You know? Like if, let's just say like you're in you're in a situation where a person has gone no contact with you, and then all of a sudden they come back in and they're like, Okay, maybe we should try over, we should start again. And you're just like, Yes, absolutely. <laughs> let's get together, let's reconcile. It's like baby steps before you kind of rush in here. Take a pause to really listen to what your intuition is guiding you with. Okay. Maybe that's what where all of this anxiety is coming from. Maybe some of you are anticipating a reconciliation or 
maybe if you're, you know, you have been proposed to, you have been in an engagement right now, or you're waiting for your connection to kind of go to that next level, you know, um, eight of swords, five of cups. Yeah. It's almost like, Hmm. Some of you are dealing with with a person who has been, I mean, there's grief here. There could be loss here. Like this person could have lost you or they could be really missing you. They could have regrets. They could feel guilty about something, something they've said, something they've done. Maybe it was impulsive decision that they've made to cut you out of their life or to, you know, could really be anything surrounding a decision that, that a person now regrets. It could be a decision that you made that you regret. You know? Um, I just feel like there's a little bit of a restrictive energy here. I'm actually, I, I feel like I want to use a different, there's the anxiety. Nine of Swords. Some of you, this is, again, we got a water sign energy here. This is masculine energy. It could be an Aries. It could be a um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There's a lot of anxiety. It's either from you or it's from this person that I'm feeling here. And if it's this person, maybe it's anxiety surrounding reconciliation, surrounding commitment, surrounding taking things to the next level, getting back together. Maybe a decision that they have to make here. Maybe there's a decision to walk away from something, especially for those of you where, there, where you're in a third party situation and the person has to make a choice to let go of someone else. Maybe it's anxiety surrounding like if they're married and they have to get a divorce and they have to follow their heart and they want to be with you. Okay, well, we've got to make some changes here. Okay, or... It could be that their feelings are, for some of you, where your feelings are so strong, and this has nothing to do with third-party situations, but their feelings are so strong for you that this commitment, <laughs> almost like this energy is like settling in, you know, especially if they've been someone who has proposed to you or they've reconciled with you. It's kind of like all of this is kind of like so overwhelming, okay? Some of you may have separated or had a breakup with this person and now it's kind of like someone's wanting reconciliation here and maybe the thought of that is something where they're like, I really want this because I love you and we love each other, but this is where Spirit's saying, take a, take a second, okay? Before you just jump right back into things, take a pause, stabilize your energy, Calm your emotions, level-headed, and maybe starting off small or slow, you know, instead of just kind of straight to, you know, that's like, I, I feel like it, let's just say you're broken up and then the person's like, propose. <laughs> it's like, it's from one extreme to the other. So take your time. Okay. Try dating again. Just feel each other out and say, okay, you know, we're sure about this. We want this. We're, we're on the same page. I almost kind of feel like I want to use some kind of a love deck here for your pile because this is clearly about love stuff. Mm. <sighs> okay, let's see. What is the universe's message for pile number three? I didn't plan on doing a love reading today, <laughs> especially for this channel. We've got turbulence here, and it says arguments, tension, and things being stressful. What's the universe's message? We have making amends, plans, opportunity, and a second chance. So maybe the two of you have had some type of conflict with this person. Maybe things have been kind of like all over the place, crazy, emotionally, mentally, what is the universe's message for pile number three? Withdrawn. We have single, lonesome, solitary. So somebody has been withdrawn. We're seeing the eight of cups is here twice. Someone has walked away here. We have a player here with being strategic. Okay. And then we also have partying here. Time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. 
This may not apply to all of you. We also have the unexpected at the bottom. Troubles, upheaval, shocking, ghosted, disappearing, regrets and mistake, cut down, separation, silent treatment. This may be something that this person has done to you, you've done to them. Some of you may, in fact, have been dealing with a player. Okay, or maybe a person who has been mm, someone who's been non-committal and just kind of having fun and not wanting to commit. Okay. Hmm. I'm seeing new love at the bottom with renewed hope and love strong affection so some of you literally i don't even know what i should this this pile has like its own its own title <laughs> i almost feel like some of you could literally be changing a player into um a person who's in love and this being something completely different for them right someone who has maybe been um a non-committal type of person, maybe for a good portion of their life where they've been free and they've been independent and they have, you know, and it's kind of like the, the feeling, the way that they feel towards you is, is changing this person. Okay. And that won't be for all of you, but some of you know, you know, this person has player tendencies or they don't really want to settle down. They're not that type. But to me, this is kind of like this person has caught feelings, strong feelings. Um... That's kind of what I'm getting here. All right, let's 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 see what other messages are here for pile number three. We have the universe here, and it says there is a creative genius in you waiting to be unleashed. Some of you may be needing to work on something creative. We've got things are not always as they appear to be. Keep an open mind. We also have expect an abundance of good things to begin to flow into your life. We have your all you've always had the power. You just have to believe it and own it. We also have the sacred power of the horse is with you. Luck is on your side. We have tarot and it says there are no wrong or right answers. Listen to your intuition. We have earth with direction of north and it says you're surrounded by earth's energy, stability, and abundance. Maybe some of you have been thinking about moving north. Okay, moving in the direction of north. This could be spirit confirming that for you. We also have astrology. Look at that, tarot and astrology here. I don't know, maybe some of you uh, practice divination or maybe you've been trying to get readings on your life. <laughs> We've got astrology here. And it says, every step is guided. Your purpose in life was divinely assigned. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the voodoo doll. And it says, don't allow anyone or anything to control or limit your true potential. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number three. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next reading.